Hello my beautiful Leo friends. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. This is a new love reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to take a look at see who's and see who's coming towards you at this time. My name is Donna. This is Irish Donna Tarot. And I do ask right now that you let me know where you're watching this from around the globe. And if you have any thorny love issues that you would like to ask about as a general topic, I will do a reading for the collective about them. So let's look and see who's coming in for our Leo friends. Leo, Leo, Leo in love. So we have at the bottom of the deck, oh my God, new love. Is that not the best card? So we're going to look at that for you. Let's see. We have seven of cups. Well, you're going to keep your options open. That's smart, right? That's that's uh, the energy of Scorpio. You've let somebody go and, you know, you have different options. But as we can see, not all of these options are good options. Some of them are snakes, some are scorpions, some are bad surprises. But there's at least one good option in the group of people that you're talking to currently. You are looking for someone who's going to give to the relationship. You're willing to give. And so we really see that, Leo, you're very generous with what you give emotionally. And, you know, on a mundane level, you are a person who's in it to win it once you enter relationship. The just the judgment card says that you are releasing somebody from your past or a situation. We see the energy that you are looking at things from a different perspective. You're reading the hieroglyphics in the water. You're um, seeking enlightenment. And you're just taking your time. You're not in any kind of a hurry. Oh, Sagittarius energy. That is uh, really wanting a relationship that's very balanced, that's very honest, uh, with a very stand-up person. Could be somebody when we get Sagittarius energy from a different culture, different ethnicity, different country, but somebody who could be very different. The Three of Swords says that you are healing. Some of you might have experienced a third party situation or it could just be heartbreak of some sort and you are healing from that, but you've released this person. So Three of Swords energy is Libra energy. So you're trying to stay very logical. You definitely want to avoid anything that's going to hurt you in the future. Sagittarius energy again, Wheel of Fortune. You are waiting for the right time. You're going to let Spirit present you with a new love. We have Aries energy here. Tiki torches, starry nights, taking action. Somebody who likes to do adventurous things. Somebody who likes to travel. Somebody who likes the outdoors has really has their eye on you and they think that you are the one. You could definitely be their long-term commitment in terms of the profile of what they want, what they seek in love. This would be a really great match for you, Leo. It's Aries energy. It is very much about the excitement, doing things. That's what's great about fire signs. A lot of passion, a lot of uh, heat, a lot of uh, really beautiful, unusual sort of experiences together, the adventure. Pisces energy, somebody who's coming in that's very romantic, very sweet. This person has really leveled up we see a beautiful wax sealed note we see a beautiful picnic a bottle of wine a fancy horse and gear and we see a big bouquet of roses so you look as though you're about to have an experience in love that you're going to like quite a lot let's look at the overall energy of where you're at in this um process of love breathe okay so you're just going to take it one breath one day at a time breathing deeply very much the tribe you want someone with whom you're going to be very family is very important to you so it's going to be important to have a relationship with somebody who is very loyal to their family somebody who has good family relationships and somebody with whom you can really feel a part of their tribe and they a part of your tribe why so you are searching for some answers here and I believe that it's really about this Three of Swords. You know, the search for answers is uh, the hanged man in that Three of Swords. So you're really wondering why you haven't been able to have what you want at this point in time. But hey, life is uh, fresh every new, every day, and in every way. So let's see, Leo. What do we have here for the Seven of Cups energy? 
what are some of the options that Leo will have in love, my friends? Let's see what we have here. We have Three of Cups. Ooh, a friend may become a lover, and that would be a very good choice. That is Cancerian energy, somebody with whom you have an emotional bond, a friend who steps forward. It does look as though you may have turned your back on this person in the past. You may have thought, you know, they weren't serious. But I get you having, of course, release something else uh, also, which could be the card. We have the lover's card, lover's card. So we get this energy of having made a choice um, about what I'm getting here. The way I'm reading this new energy is that you're more likely to choose this person and walk away. We go from the Seven of Cups to the Eight of Cups is how I'm reading that. You're looking for a soulmate, but you have narrowed the field. It looks like, you know, you're not considering seven people. You're down to a couple of people, but one of those people. Friendship is very important to you within relationship. You want a friend and lover, and that is what you will have. But that Three of Cups energy is all about um, the joyfulness, the celebration every day of life. Eight of Wands, lots of passion. Put a fire extinguisher by the bed, Leo, because you are passionately moving forward. It looks as though you are narrowing the gap, and I feel very much that you're energetically being pulled uh, after healing. You've gone through some healing, some wounds of the past that wanted to pop out earlier. Um, but we see that you've closed out this cycle, the universe, very successfully. You've closed out a past relationship um, with somebody or a door. You've closed the door on one of the many options that you've had. It was a very wise choice. It looks like you feel very comfortable with that choice. It was smart. You want somebody who's going to give to you and give to the relationship. This is, again, Taurus energy. We see the full card and brand new beginning with a Taurus. Wheel of Fortune is coming in twice. So we have that Taurus energy. We have Aquarius energy. And we have Sagittarius energy. So you want somebody who's very enlightened. Somebody who also, you're a little bit jealous there, Leo. You're a little bit possessive. You want to make sure that your person feels the same way that you have, that the way you feel. You also want somebody who's done healing work and left the past behind. You're not going to really entertain anybody who's a hot mess. I see you being very grounded. Oh my gosh, twin flame. This is the number 22. It's the only deck that I own, and I own hundreds uh, of the Naked Heart Tarot. It's about transformation. So Twin Flame energy is very high in your love energy right now. It speaks to the fact that you probably know exactly who you're going to end up with. You don't know. There's still some mysteries here that have to be solved, though. So tell us about the Judgment card with the Twin Flame card, the Star card. You're releasing everybody who isn't spiritually attuned. You're releasing everybody to, that doesn't have a pure heart. You're very much geared to success right now, Leo. This is Aquarius energy. It's your natural seventh house on the astrology wheel for marriage. You want someone who is a spiritual, a rock star, a spiritual warrior, somebody who has a good heart, somebody who's generous and kind and somebody who's very thoughtful about what they do and what their actions are. You may be attracted to or you may be beginning a relationship with somebody who's very well known to the public, literally, literally somebody who's a star in their own right. We have the energy page of swords. You're hanging around watching the uh, social media of whoever you're attracted to if they don't let you in. You know, it looks as though you're going, well, why not? What's going on with that person that I can't see? Heart of Cups, falling in love with somebody, following them, tracking them, but taking your time. The Heart of Cups is a Queen of Cups, somebody who is very loving, very giving, very nurturing, very mothering in the way they love. Somebody who says, here, let me fix you a beautiful lasagna for dinner. 
the Ace of Swords. You have great clarity. You want someone who's balanced. You want somebody who's fair. You want somebody with integrity. Sagittarius energy is all about integrity. It's someone who really has a, a very strong value system, a strong belief system, and they live by this system of being balanced, fair, you know, you're, that's an energy that you require in a relationship. You want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You're not going to settle for less. And we have, oh, you're so wise, Leo, the high priestess. You know, you watch everything very carefully. You don't say much. You're, you're in the energy of, um, you know, you're looking, watching, quietly, seeking answers. But it is the energy of discretion, keeping things to yourself, using your intuition. This person may be someone that you naturally finish the sentence with. You know, it's a, sort of mental telepathy or um, that kind of communication that you have with someone. That would be very pleasing to you. And it shows that right now, though, you're not going to you're not going to take action, Leo. You're going to let this person come towards you and see what they're going to do with the energy. We have the energy that, you know, you've been left in the cold. You've had some pain. You're really over it. You're not you're being very careful right now. I think, Leo, that you've really been through it. There we go. Temperance again. So for some of you, I see that someone may return. Temperance is my classic someone returning from the past. But here's the deal. You have temperance card twice. So you want somebody who's balanced, just as I described moments ago. But you also have somebody who's likely to return. You will not speak to them, though. I don't see that you giving them a chance. The Two of Swords, the Eight of Swords, that's where you're imposing and restricting access to you. The Ten of Swords means this person uh, left you out in the cold, they stabbed you in the back, and that is the person that brought you so much heartache. You are not going to give that person a second chance at all. Period. The end. Put a fork in it. <laughs> <laughs> send it back to the kitchen that is a bad 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 piece of uh, meat so to speak and I just mean that metaphorically you know just sending back something to the chef that's undesirable uh, unsavory so to speak we have the three of swords is clarified by the magician card Magus the healer the magician was often thought to be, um, well, it was often a doctor, and at the time in the 1500s, when the doctor would heal somebody, people would think it was magic. So it shows that you have healed your heart here. It shows that you do, as you move forward, you have all the tools you need to have a lovely relationship. It is Gemini and Virgo energy. Uh, through communication, through knowledge, through learning, you really have learned to, a lot about what you need, what you want want. Um, we also see Spirit of Cups here. You want someone who has their emotions under control. Look at this energy. The Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, Twin Flames. We might have a divine partnership here for many of you. The Hermit card. You're really keeping to yourself, once again, that Hermit energy. And a search for answers. You may be attracting a Virgo, uh, somebody who's very sort of quiet, self-contained, but very reliable. We have the, okay, so the Wheel of Fortune says that right now, we had the hanged man here, I believe, didn't we? Not? Yes, we did. So you're taking your time. Again, the hanged man appears. You know, you don't want any big surprises. You don't want to um, have anybody who is around you that you really can't trust or who's doing things that you don't understand. So you're like, that's a wait and see card. I'm going to wait and see what this person actually does. We have the Nine of Pentacles energy, the energy of Virgo again, looking good, looking great, attracting what you want, what you need. This Aries energy of the Three of Wands is all about a new adventure and love coming. It is some, it's hard for you to wrap your head around it whoever the person is it looks like an Aries maybe with a Pisces overlay but we see somebody who's very mysterious somebody though who will be reliable somebody who makes a small offer Pisces energy we also see the movement of cops you're not willing to deal with any players anybody who's coming in and out is going to be 
put in the corner or, you know, shown the door. Shown the door is what it looks like to me. The Ace of Wands, you're only, Leo, going to really go forward with somebody who comes in with a proper offer. You definitely want this Pisces dreamy energy. Nine of Wands, you both have fire in your belly for the relationship. We see you being able to give up the burdens of the past. I would say that this tricky person here, though, the one that really ghosted you or hurt you, comes back in with an apology in an effort to reconcile. And though you're glad that you get the apology, three of swords, you're just not going to take them back. This person has damaged you, damaged you too much. This person is somebody who hurt you really deeply, and you're just not going to trust them again. You, your heart is closed off to them, and you're feeling good about it. But let's see what they would like to say to you. What does this person want to say to try to win you back? Because, you know, we don't trust them to begin with with that Ten of Swords. So we have, I need more time to figure things out. Well, ba-boom, no, no more time. I think we had the judgment card up here. Wait a minute. Sometimes it's hard to remember as readings blend one to, yeah, here you are. You release this person. You're done. Again, like I said, stick a fork in it. You're looking for a spiritual warrior who is worthy of your time. You know, your, your fierce love, the kind of love that you give, Leo, you want it returned. You're not settling for it. Something is still missing for me, and I'm trying to figure out what it is. Well, what's missing here is this person's ability to really love and commit. You know, there's nothing that you're missing. That's not what I'm seeing, Leo. Your person is just someone who likes to just dither around. Would you reject me? Yep, the answer to that is yes, you'd reject them. So they come back and they're still flaky and they still don't know what they want and they still represent to you someone who would really not be a very good uh, match for you. But this new love coming in, I feel very strongly you may be attached to a Virgo, a Gemini, an Aquarius, but it, you look, you are going to have success in love because you're closing out a period of time of keeping your options open. You have a twin flame with the star card and that is hopes and dreams for love. Love coming true, my friends. Beautiful energy, Leo. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. Uh, please be free to ask a question also in the comments below. I am doing uh, collective readings based on viewer questions. As I, as I get time to do them, I'm really enjoying it. So right now we have a question that I'm doing and publishing later this week that's all about how do I get my lover to display emotions uh, more fluidly in the relationship. How do I get more emotional give and take from my person? So hoping you like this. Sending you love again from Chicago. Hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye, Leo.